to your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Raven Bloom. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. The city of Flint observing a moment of silence to offer thoughts and prayers following the death of city councilman Eric Mays. His funeral, originally scheduled for today, was postponed as a court battle plays out amongst his family over who is in charge of his remains. A motion hearing was held Thursday between Mays' son and the Lawrence E. Moon Funeral Home. His son claims he is Mays' only relative who can decide what happens to his father's remains remains and is accusing his aunts and uncles of fraud. The hearing was adjourned until Monday morning at 11. Authorities in Clinton Township are urging residents not to pick up any debris from Monday night's fire and explosions, saying they still pose potential hazards. The renewed warning about debris comes as officials say the investigation is not expected to begin until next week. The fire gutting a building filled with vaping industry supplies, causing steel beams to collapse. Investigators are waiting on the beams to be removed. Clinton Township Fire Chief says he is hoping this weekend's rain can douse the smoldering debris, allowing crews to go in and remove the beams next week. He adds crews have been on the scene since Monday monitoring the situation. A celebration of books for Saginaw County families. The Reed Association of Saginaw County held its annual Books for Breakfast event this morning. It is to help kids get excited about reading with tons of fun activities, plus all the pancakes they could eat. The group, along with the Public Libraries of Saginaw, Mid-Michigan Children's Museum, and the Saginaw Children's Zoo welcomed families to the East Side Soup Kitchen and Hidden Harvest. Now here's Kyle with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Raven. As we go throughout our evening, we've got dry conditions for the next few hours before snow overtakes the forecast as we go into the overnight period and into your Sunday. Here's a look at your hour by hour. Notice right now most of that activity is on the upper left hand side of your screen up there by Houghton Lake, Harrison, Higgins Lake. Most of that activity staying northwest of the tri cities of the Bay Area of Genesee County, staying away for the next few hours. But as we go into the overnight period, you can see here that activity starts to overspread the rest of mid Michigan. Now you'll notice on the hour by hour as we loop through uh, uh, you know, going into early uh, Sunday morning, most of this activity is actually going to be focused in the thumb, also northwest of the bay. So here we go into 4 a.m. We're seeing that snow overspread all of mid Michigan here. Everybody will have the chance for some snow, but the majority of that snow that falls again going to be focused in the thumb. Those snow bands setting up coming off of the Saginaw Bay, allowing for a more consistent snowfall than other places. Even here at 9 a.m. as the snow is actually starting to wind down by this point, middle to late morning, uh, we're still seeing that snow continuing there in parts of the thumb. As we go towards midday, that snow eventually does wind down and we'll be looking at drier conditions setting in. Here's a look at our snow predictor, how much snow we're going to be looking at. Again, notice out of of all of mid Michigan. The thumb is the focus here for some of that heavier snow and by heavier snow. We're still only talking about one to two inches and even on the higher end of that we could see two to three inches snow of snow fall, but we won't actually see two to three inches of snow on the ground at any one particular time because the ground temperatures are so warm that we're going to be melting quite a bit. So with that, we will see generally about an inch or so uh, of snow potentially accumulating for parts of the thumb. Everybody else about an inch or less on that seven day forecast. It's busy for tomorrow. But then we've got nicer weather moving in for your Monday and Tuesday. We warm up into the lower 50s and then eventually the lower 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. But then Wednesday through the end of the week, going even into the weekend, we're seeing temperatures slowly cool down. We're also working on some rain chances. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.